Hi again everyone. So we will continue the session with dividing ideas. Now whenever it comes to division, I tend to explain this uh, with the use of uh, percentages. So I mean in terms of division, I mean it hardly matters whether we are getting the percentage directly or the decimal value directly because uh, after all that would be as simple as uh, you know a shifting of two decimal points right so if you have the division result as uh, 0.53 uh, that would be 53 percent right so i mean it's a percentage or decimal it hardly makes a difference so we are going to straight away get into percentages and uh, you know if you need to get the decimal equivalent i think you can use the same process just just shift the two decimal points that's it now before we get into this uh, one simple understanding if n by d is r percent then n must be equal to r percent of d right so what we are going to do is we are going to use this idea coupled with another idea uh, suppose i take any number so let's say 3 2 7 5 uh, i can say that this much is 100 percent of the number this much is 10 percent of the number this much is 1 percent of the number and this much is 0.1 percent of the number so we can go on with this so depending on the positioning of the decimal point we can say what percentage of the number is right in multiples of in powers of 10 so 100 percent 10 percent 1 percent 0.1 percent and so on now using these two ideas let's say i need to divide uh, let, let me take a random number as random as possible i mean at this point of time i would ask my students to give me the number but any which way let's say 279 divided by or let me take another digit here 2793 let's say and 32587 so let's say i need to divide this number by this number so what you have is first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to approximate some values. So instead of going with 2793 directly and 32587 also, what we're going to do is we are going to approximate one of these numbers to two, two digits only. So what I do is I take a judgment call by, you know, looking at the number of digits of this number. So you have four digits out here, you have five digits out here. As the numerator has less number of digits, I'm going to approximate this to the two most significant digits. So two more significant places that is. So 27, uh, directly approximate karke, we don't do 27 itself. So what I'll do is I'll just take it to 28 roughly because 27.93 this is. So I'll take 28 roughly. And this I would divide by, now check this. From the numerator, we eliminated two places. So this is crucial that we eliminate the same number of places from the numerator and denominator. So in the denominator also, we are going to eliminate two places. So this would be 325.87. So that would be roughly 326. Now, once we have got this, the rest of the part is the application of this idea coupled with this idea. So what we are going to do is first thing, we are going to find some percentages of 326 and we are going to fit it into 28. So 100% of 326 is 326, 10% is 32.6. At this point, few people might be trying to get a ratio or something. That is not incorrect, but I'm, I'm giving a general process here. So 32.6 is 10% and 3.26 would be 1%. So let's work with this 3.26 or rather in terms, uh, let us say 3.3 to be a little more precise here. So 3.3, now check this, 3.3 times how much is closest to this value? We can say that is 8 times. So 3.3 is 1%. So we can say 8% would be 26.4. I mean, 9% would be closer to this, but 9% would offshoot 28, right? We can come back, but I'm not going to that many details right now. So 8% would be 26.4, right? 
1% being roughly 3.3, 8% 26.4. Now if I take this off, we are left with 1.6. And now a quick observation here, 3.3 was roughly 1%. So what would be 0.5%? 0.5% would be roughly 1.6. So basically what we see is after we have taken 8% off, and we have taken 0.5% off, we are consuming the whole number. So basically, we should have a rough approximation of 8.5%. Now, in order to get it to decimal value, all we have to do is 0 0.085, right? So this would be a good enough approximation of this number. Now, you can check your calculators how well we did here. Uh, I believe it should be an offset of maximum to maximum 0.1%. Uh, in fact, in this case, it should be less than 0.1%. But I guess this is close enough to the actual value. So this is the basic idea of division. I'm not going to too many details. Uh, there are a lot of percentage approximations and other stuff, which we are not covering in this session. Uh, we do discuss those in our classes at Mathuratory. Now, if you want to take up that classes, then you can by logging in and registering there. Uh, or, or if you want us to detail, we will try to make some videos as well, uh, as far as it is possible for us. So just give us your feedback and we will try to inculcate some more videos out here. So thank you again and keep enjoying this session. Thanks a lot.